using this extension, the system administrator will be able to create different views for the same module. For example, we're looking at the tickets module, and then if we wanted to add a ticket, we have four options. So those four options are four different views created by this extension. So if I were to add a computer repair, I can see the title, the status, and I can see, say, the Windows login, password, operating system. So these fields are related to this unique form, which is computer repair. If I go back and try, say, create a car repair ticket, and I also have my ticket, my status, but then instead of the Windows passwords, I have the car information, license plate, ID, etc. So basically, you'll be able to create unique forms for the same module. So let's cancel out of this. Say if I wanted to add a ticket from the organization, I would go to tickets, and then again, I have my add tickets field, and I can select which form I would like to create. And as the user opens the ticket that's been created, it will only show the fields related to that form. Now to configure those forms, we would go to settings, CRM settings. Under other settings, we have custom forms and views. And here are the four forms that we have. If I, if I were to edit one, it has, it has the module name, the name of the form, it's active, and then you can assign certain profiles to each form, say, so the sales people don't see the support people forms. If I scroll down, we have a ticket information block and the available fields block. So what you can do from the available fields, you can drag and drop those fields into the ticket information and then the fields that you dropped in will then show up in that form when you're creating a ticket. You can include additional blocks. If I drop this here, I can then include additional fields to those blocks. And if I were to save it, these fields would then show up in the delivery order form. If I go back to my list. To add a new form, you would just go add custom forms and views and basically select the module and follow the process of dragging and dropping the fields from the available fields block into the blocks that you would like to include into that form.